Last week you saw that we hit bottom and damaged our rudder. Luckily, our friend Pablo taught us how to sand away the roughed up places and apply epoxy and fiberglass to create a new substrate. This week, Pablo is showing us how to finish up the repairs and we celebrate with a delicious home cooked meal with veggies straight from his garden. I'm Kristen, this is Fabio, and this is our dog Yoda. We're looking for adventure and freedom in harbors unknown, but for now, we're starting in our own backyard. We sold our dream home of 16 years that we remodeled with love and attention to every detail and moved on to our catamaran Wanderlust, where a couple of dreamers with a longing to explore the world's natural wonders, food, and cultures. To live by the wind, current, and the sun, Click the subscribe button to come along for the ride. I think you lose weight. Probably good enough. Hey, cool, I never know. When I bring my never see. You just buy your eye half and half, or how do you know it's half and half? I just do it by. Oh, I have to be precise. Do it by feet. Okay. So what are you doing? I'm mixing the primer. Good. And it's a two part. One, 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 yeah. Equal parts. A two part primer and equal parts. Okay. Over here, right on the outside? Yeah. Right over there? Yeah. You know? Yeah, good. The idea is to lay. Good. To lay like that. Put, put, put material so it covers. Don't worry. Yeah. If you run so, run the other one. I think I'll get that thing there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and try to look at the end. Yeah. Go with the brush like that when you put the second coat. Mm -hmm. oh. So it's going to feel and you're not going to have too many marks. I see. You know? Those marks we want to get off. Okay. It's going to flatten up. Okay. We can flip so now it. we just leave it like flip. this? No, we can flip it and oh. go the other side. What's the difference between this and fairing compound? So fairing is epoxy, but it's in a thicker paste. Oh, you know, when you know where you send in round shapes, it's better to do it by hand because mm. your hand will copy the round shape. Right, all yours. Like liquid, this is like almost liquid fairing compound. Ah. Be careful when you shoot, it doesn't get you shoot. Yeah. How about these little spots? They should have dropped there too. Mm. Let's just leave it this. Mm.
Pablo had drilled out the center of the fiberglass epoxy plug we made and was now installing it in the pinhole to create a fiberglass barrier between the interior foam and water. How do you know that it's gone in, around the... Uh, like inside? It, it feels. It feel. I, I moved it around oh. and it feels everything. So now this is what we're going to do. Otherwise it's not going to pull. Okay. Let's do like the operating room, alright? Yeah, <laughs> Prep. Prep and break. Yeah. Should we push it down? Yeah. Now, now we gotta force it. We finish it. We finish it with the other one. We just kiss the gel coat. We flip it over. That's called kissing it. Just kiss it. I think that will include the uh, when we do this. Mm. Naturally, we don't have to put it, we can just put the primer on it. Okay? Yeah, yeah put the same primer. It's easy to do something like that. It's gotta be pretty flat. We're okay. gonna finish it right here. But it's gotta be pretty flat. First thing, yeah. From the outer edge, and then you flatten the same, the same, yeah. the same. Way. So you start from that edge, and this is what you want. You want that that transition. Now put your finger on it. Yeah. Perfect. See. So you start from the outer edge, yeah. and then you flatten it like that. Yeah. And what it's going to do is going to respect this edge. Yeah. If you go like this and you eat it, forget about mm. it. You know, so look. Gently, you know, to press a much. On this, you have a lot of control. You can you can send like this on a 45 degree. So if you ever want to get something straight, perfect. 
Perfect. That should give you a very good edge. And then we're going to get another piece of sandpaper. Round edges, we're going to do it by hand, with the palm of the hand, yeah. so you can put it. So yeah, we're going to hard cut it. We're going to hard cut the epoxy. Just on the on this side of the roll. On this roll. Yeah, yeah, don't wet the whole thing. Yeah. That's it. See, that's a nice medium coat. You just wanted to make waterproof. Uh, you seal everything now, uh, and then we're gonna put the bottom pin on the other side. Try to go around with the edge of the uh, on the, uh, the oh, shape of the blister. The blue there. On the shape of the blister, yeah. First, what you want to do is you want to distribute the paint evenly, and you want to soak the roller yeah. before you go to the edge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these is our more. This is where we want more more millage you know because then you're going to fade out and look it's nice beautiful as you're fading out it's thinning out looks good yeah. the inside so you spray it good They're doing this copper thing. This uh yeah, copper paint. Copper paints, copper base, hard paints. It's epo epoxy and paint yeah, chips. Have you yeah, seen it? that was uh that was an invention from uh, thirty years ago. Did it work? Yeah, uh, the the the, thing, the idea about it is that you can send it and, and the and the copper it always get exposed. Ah. Okay, you wanted to cover? And then at the end we're gonna go in there and uh -huh. blend all that. But okay. first you wanna cover this. Yes. Okay. okay, I'm gonna give you some more paint. Big paper. That's great. This way it gets stuck to the uh That's it, chemically bond. It's the strongest bond that you can do. You have chemically and you have mechanical. Yeah. Mechanical is by providing a a profile. Yeah. Huh. That's awesome. Ooh. Don't go too hard. 
because yeah. he will lift up right now. It's chemically bonding to the other one. Yeah, but not. So we cannot play too much. We just gotta put it on and move. Yeah. Good. Uh, Good. Yeah. So we can do this. Because now what happened is chemically bonding. So the thinners of the paint are gonna loosen up. Yeah. The thinner of the epoxy. Usually they everybody uses silene. You can put another coat later. Okay. And just go over the whole thing. Go. This is bad on pain. This is. This is cheap to prevent growth. Yeah. Just go over it like that. It's just bottom pain, so you can put it with a little bit of like you mean, like you mean. Yeah. That's good. We fill the hole for the pin with thick and epoxy to fill the actual tube, the epoxy tube that we had uh, we had prepared. And now, which is dry, it's dried out. We're going to drill it out, drill a hole out with the, using this drill bit, which is exactly the size, just a little over the size of the pin. <laughs> piece of sand, sandpaper to make the hole. I still remember the day that you came. Take this out. You were so little. For me it's just a day. Okay. All right, so this is the, the finished product. The hole has been painted inside too. It's a little wet, sorry. We are going now let it dry for a couple of hours and bring it back to the boat and install it and see how the pin fits. You're a lonely sailor and your soul is made of wind. I'm a weary pirate, and my heart is made of dust and grey, and spoiled champagne. I've got troubles, I've got sins, I'm my worst enemy, but I've still got a lot to give. So I said, hey, don't you wanna come, come and run away with me, hey, won't you come, won't you come? By chance, don't you want a man? A man who fully understands a sailor's heart, a sailor's heart. You're a born survivor, and you'll never find yourself in love. You're wise enough I got troubles, I got sins I'm my worst enemy But I still got a lot to give So I said, hey, don't you wanna come? Come and run away with me Hey, won't you come, won't you come? And sit by chance, don't you wanna man? A man who 
Here's the pin, pin goes, goes in here and comes out the other side. Then we use this, look at this side here. This needs to be, we lost the actual cutter pin, but <laughs> so it's like we're a little uh, improvised. Like that. Now we can go sailing again. Exactly. <laughs> Not only did Pablo help us fix the rudder, but he treated us to a delicious lunch with fresh vegetables from his garden. It can't be all work and no play. If you missed part one of this video, go check it out to see how we prepped the rudder and used epoxy and fiberglass to repair it. We'll be sailing again soon, but in the meantime, check out this playlist to see how the C-Win 1600 performs in a variety of conditions. If you liked this video, do all the things, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.